Hi and welcome to Gen Yoga. This sequence is perfect if you're looking to loosen up any tight areas in your body. So let's hop on the mat. So we're going to start today in a wide-legged child's pose. So make your way there, take your knees, mat distance apart and your big toes touching. And then gently bring your forehead to the mat as you crawl your fingertips forward. Breathe here, breathing into the back of your heart space. Feeling the breath reach all corners of your body on every inhalation. And then draw back towards your centre and your midline as you exhale. Inhale, feeling your ribs expand. And the breath reach all corners of your body. And exhale, just to soften here. Taking one more, just like that. Before tenting your palms and reaching your head up, and then crawling your fingertips all the way over to the right-hand side. And when they get as far as they can go, just bring your head down towards the mat. Take a few more deep breaths, just breathing into the left hand side of the ribs. Feeling the skin stretch as you inhale and come back together, softening as you exhale. At the end of your exhale, tent the palms, bring the head up so that you can crawl your way back through your centre and over to the left. This time planting the palms as far as they can get and bringing your head down in between your hands. Feeling a stretch across the right hand side of your torso here. Just breathing deeply. Taking one more breath. At the end of your exhale, tent the palms again and just come back to centre. From here we'll push up into a tabletop position, bringing our wrists underneath our shoulders and our knees underneath our hips. Draw the belly button to the spine and just find a bit of strength in your shoulders here. So you've got a bit of integrity in the spine. We're going to take some barrel rolls with our spine here. So I really uh, invite you to just tune into how this feels because it may not look exactly like a barrel, but I want you to just feel as though your ribs are moving round in a nice circle. From tabletop, we'll push our ribs to the left. Inhale, drop the belly down, taking the ribs over towards the right and then exhaling to arch the spine. So just keep this movement going. Almost as though we're a barrel, or our ribs are a barrel. Just finding a bit of movement and releasing tension in areas that we may not often pay that much attention to. So you may not look like you're doing that sort of barrel motion, but I just really invite you to sort of feel into this movement. When you've done enough on that side, Meeting that arched spine, coming back to centre, and then we'll take it in the opposite direction. Barreling the hips first towards the right, down through centre, and then over to the left. Taking one more full circle. For meeting in the arched pose, and then bringing it back to a neutral spine. From here, we'll drop our elbows as though we're coming back into a child's pose. But when we get here, we'll begin to sweep our chest along the mat until it's in line with our, the base of our thumbs, and then we'll press up into tabletop again. 
So just opening up the spine in a way that we don't always do. Exhaling here, inhaling, pressing back, sliding forward, and exhale to push yourself back up to tabletop. Go through a couple more in your own time, just syncing up the movement with the breath. Make this your final one. And then we'll meet in tabletop. Take a deep breath in here and a full breath out. Inhale, sweep your right fingertips up towards the sky and exhale, thread your arm underneath your left one, bringing the palm to face the ceiling. You can tent your left palms and crawl them forward if you want to deepen the stretch a little bit. And really root through both um, tops of your feet here. Close down the eyes and breathe deeply into the left hand shoulder blade and the left hand side of your body as we open up across the upper back. Taking one more breath in and a full breath out before crawling the fingertips back in line with your face if you took that option. Plant the palm and then sweep your right fingertips up towards the sky, gaze up and then exhale back down to your tabletop. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So inhale, sweep the left fingertips up and overhead and exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right, bringing the palm up towards the sky. Tent the fingertips and you can crawl your right fingertips forward if that feels nice. Just making sure you're rooting through the tops of both feet and you're breathing into your upper back, finding a bit of space across the shoulder blades. At the end of your next exhale, just crawl the fingertips back in line with your face, plant the palm, and then inhale, sweep the left hand up towards the sky, gaze up, and exhale, plant the palms underneath the shoulders. Crawl the fingertips forward, tuck the toes and push your seat to heels, rising up into a downward facing dog, so lifting the tailbone up towards the ceiling. Your hands are shoulder distance apart and your feet hip distance apart here. We'll pedal out the dog now, so bend deeply through one knee as you press the opposite heel in towards the mat and then take it over to the other side. Getting out any little cracks that you may find. When you've evened it out, We'll come up onto both tiptoes and then gently press the heels down towards the mat, but it doesn't matter if they touch. Drawing the tailbone higher up towards the sky, take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, ripple forward, coming up into a high plank and you have the option here to drop to your knees if you'd like. Your hands are shoulder distance apart, your feet hip distance apart, your navel is drawing towards your spine and the crown of the head's reaching forward. We'll just take two more breaths here, breathing deeply, finding a bit of core strength before lowering down to the mat. So if you've got your knees down, you can drop your chest and your chin, or you have the option to lower in one straight line down towards the mat. From here, untuck the toes and then tent the palms slightly wider than your shoulders. We'll inhale, ripple up, coming into a cobra, shoulders away from the ears, elbows bent, and exhale to soften. Two more times, just like that. Inhale, rippling up the spine. Head comes up last. And exhale to soften. Inhale, so ripple up. And exhale to soften. From here, we'll plant the palms underneath our shoulders, tuck the toes, push our hips to heels, meeting in a downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. Bring the big toes to touch and inhale the right leg up and back behind you. Exhale, draw your knee towards your nose and plant your foot in between your hands. 
So we'll just bring the right palm so it's on the inner edge of the foot here and we'll stay up on our, on our left um, toes here as we plant our palms. Then we just take gentle circles, just warming up the front of the hip joint. So go in one direction a few times and then take it the opposite way. Gently lower your back knee, making sure that your feet are um, hip distance apart here so you've got a stable base. And then inhale to rise up into your low lunge here. You can untuck the toes if that gives you a little bit more stability. And when we get here, we want our front knee stacked over our front ankle. So our fingertips are reaching up nice and high, shoulder blades down and relaxed. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. And at the end of your exhale, just drop your left fingertips down towards the mat and reach your right hand up towards the sky here. Breathing in, Breathing in to your twist. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. And at the end of your exhale, we'll frame the front foot. And then we'll just begin to straighten through the front leg, drawing the toes up towards the sky and just feeling a stretch across the calf and the hamstring of the right leg here. Take a deep breath in, find length in the spine, crown of the head reaching forward and exhale to crawl it back into your low lunge, tuck the toes and lift the back knee and we'll step back into our plank pose. Again, option to lower the, lower the knees if you'd like. Take a deep breath in and then we'll lower your way down to the mat taking the fingertips a little bit wider and inhale, come up into your cobra and exhale to soften. Plant the palms underneath your shoulders, push your hips to heels and we'll meet in the downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. At the end of your exhale, bring your big toes to touch and inhale, take the left leg up and back behind you. Exhale, draw your knee towards your nose and plant your foot in between your hands. Take the left hand so that it's on the inside of the left foot, plant the palms, and then we'll just come through those hip opening circles, just going a few times on one side and then changing direction, opening up through the hips. Bringing the right knee to the mat and then framing the front foot with both hands, making sure the front knee stacked over the front ankle will inhale rising into our low lunge. You can untuck the toes if that gives you a little bit more stability. Shoulder blades are down and relaxed. The crown of the head's reaching up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. At the end of your exhale, just begin to lower your right palm or fingertips down to the mat on the inside of your left foot and reach the left fingertips forward. You can gaze up towards the base of your thumb or out in front if that feels more comfortable. Just breathing into the twist here. Taking one more breath in. And then exhale to release the left hand back to the mat. And then we'll begin to straighten through the front leg, drawing the left toes up towards the sky, keeping length in the spine here. Breathe in and breathe out. And at the end of your exhale, just crawl forward, lift the back knee by tucking the toes, plant the palms, and then we'll step it back into our plank pose. From here, we'll just push back up into a downward facing dog, so lifting the tailbone up towards the sky. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. At the end of your exhale, take a slow and gentle walk up to the top of your mat. So in whichever way feels nice for you, perhaps lots of baby steps or crisscrossing the feet, meeting in a forward fold here, just grabbing hold of opposite elbows and swaying gently from side to side. Release the hands and roll it up to standing here. Meeting into Dasana or mountain pose at the top of our mat. So our crown of our heads reaching up, our shoulder blades are down and relaxed, our palms are facing forward, our belly buttons drawing towards our spine and our tailbone sort of lengthening down towards the mat. Got a soft bend in your knees and you're rooting through all four corners of your feet here. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, raise the fingertips up and overhead. And exhale, fold forward, bringing the palms through heart center and folding over soft knees. Plant the palms and take a big step back with your right leg. 
Exhale, left leg meets the right downward facing dog. Rippling forward into your high plank and exhale, drop your knees, your chest and your chin. Sliding through into a cobra of your choice. I'm gonna take a baby cobra this time and hover my hands before planting the palms and pushing back into a downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. And at the end of your exhale, bring your big toes to touch and sweep your right leg up and back behind you. Exhale, draw your knee towards your nose and plant your foot in between your hands. Inhale to find length in the spine, look forward. <clears throat> and exhale, soften through the back leg and take your back leg up to meet the front, meeting in a forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach the fingertips up and overhead. And exhale, bring the palms down through hot center, folding forward over soft knees. Plant the palms and take a big step back with your left leg. Exhale, right leg meets the left, downward facing dog. Inhale, coming forward into your high plank and exhale, drop your knees, your chest and your chin. Slide through into your cobra. This time I'll take a slightly higher version. And exhale, plant the palms, push your seat to heels, meeting in a downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. And at the end of your exhale, bring your big toes to touch and inhale, sweep the left leg up and back behind you. Exhale, draw your knee towards your nose and plant your foot in between your hands, meeting in a low lunge. Inhale to find length and exhale, soften through the back leg and take the back leg up to meet the front, meeting in a forward fold. Inhale, rising back up to standing, fingertips up and overhead. And exhale, take the palms through heart center and just take a deep breath in and a full breath out in your Tadasana. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up and overhead and exhale, fold forward over soft knees. Inhale, palms to shin, lengthen the spine, look forward. And exhale, plant the palms and step it back in through plank and into a downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Exhale to gently lower your knees to the mat, meeting in a tabletop position. And then untuck the toes and push it back into a child's pose. So you can keep your legs where they are at hip distance apart, or you can bring your thighs to touch or take your knees wide, whichever option suits you. Coming back to our child's pose. And finding a sense of softness. Inhaling into the back of the heart space and exhaling, drawing everything back in. Taking one more breath here and exhale. Coming up into your fingertips and lifting the head, then crawling your fingertips back. Knock the legs to one side. And we're going to meet on our backs here with our knees pointing up towards the sky. Snuggle your shoulder blades under and make sure that your feet are about hip distance apart. And if you reach your fingertips down, you should be about able to reach your heels here. Then plant your palms either side of your body. We're going to come through bridge pose. So if you're not um, sure what bridge bridge looks like, just watch me go through it once rather than coming into it and turning your neck. So as we get here, we'll really sort of root down through everything that's in contact with the mat, drawing our belly button to our spine, suckering the lower back into the mat here. Gently begin to tilt the pelvis, lifting the spine up nice and slowly until we come up onto our shoulders. We'll draw our chin down towards our chest and our chest up towards the ceiling. And imagine that you've got a block or something just holding your legs in place so your knees are not splaying out and they're not coming in. Your glutes should be activated but not clenching. So if you find that they're feeling a bit tight here, just soften. Take a deep breath in and then lowering on your exhale. So we're going to do a couple more just like that. Gently flowing through the movement. So drawing the lower back into the mat, drawing the navel to the spine. As so we begin to tilt the pelvis, pressing into the heels and lifting the, lifting the back of the body up off the mat, coming up onto our shoulders. Breathing here. Taking one more breath in. And exhale to lower. 
So we'll go through one more round. And on this one, I'm going to invite you to come a little bit deeper if it feels good in your body. So pressing through everything that's in contact with the ground, snuggle the shoulder blades under. Pressing through the heels as we begin to lift the tailbone, rising up, coming up onto our shoulders. So you have the option to stay here, which is where we've been before. Or if you want to go a little bit deeper, just snuggle the shoulder blades under and interlace the fingertips behind your back. Drawing the chin down towards the chest and the chest towards the ceiling. Making sure the legs are activated, the glutes are activated but not clenched. Take a deep breath in and a full breath out. Release the palms if you've taken that option and just come back onto your shoulder blades before exhaling and gently lowering back down onto the mat. From here we'll take our feet mat distance apart, let the knees knock together. Just take three deep breaths in constructive rest, allowing your hips and your pelvis and your belly to be nice and soft. Feeling the breath reach every corner of your body as you inhale and then drawing back in towards the midline as you exhale. Gently heel toe your feet so that they're close together and extend the left leg long out along the mat. Draw your right knee in towards your right armpit. Take a deep breath in and then exhale to twist, bringing the right knee down towards the mat, cactusing the right arm and keeping both shoulder blades in contact with the ground. Just breathing gently here in your supine twist. Taking one more breath in and exhale. At the end of your exhale, coming back to central position, just hug that knee back in towards your chest and then release the leg and we'll take it onto the other side. So extending through the right leg and drawing the left leg in towards our chest here, in towards our left armpit. Cactus the left arm out at shoulder height and then gently draw your left knee over your body, keeping your left shoulder in contact with the ground here. So your left knee probably won't hit the floor and that's fine. Just breathing deeply. as we relax into our twist. Taking one more breath in and a full breath out. At the end of your exhale, just come back to centre, hug the left knee in towards the chest and then bring your right leg to meet it. And we'll just give ourselves a little rock and roll and squeezing everything in before releasing into our Shavasana. So getting nice and comfy as quickly as you can, snuggling the shoulder blades under, allowing the ankles to be soft and your feet falling out to the sides, palms resting beside your body. Give yourself a gentle body scan and just notice if there's any areas of tension that need a little bit of softening to allow you to fully relax into these few moments of stillness that we'll just take together at the end of the practice. If your mind begins to wander, just imagine your breath reaching to every corner of your body on the inhales and then coming back towards that center point, that midline as you exhale. Gently begin to deepen the breath here and bring some soft and gentle movement back into your body. Perhaps wiggling the fingers and toes or taking circles of the ankles and the wrists. Waking up the spine by knocking your head from side to side. 
And taking a full body stretch here, pointing the toes and reaching the fingertips up overhead, getting as long as you can before hugging everything in. And gently rocking over onto one side and pressing up to a seated position. So we've come to the end of our practice. So we'll bring our palms into heart center. Thank you for joining me for today's sequence. I hope you've enjoyed it. I've got lots more videos planned um, to film, especially over these lockdown months. So um, make sure you're subscribed to my channel to keep updated and I look forward to practicing again with you soon. See you next time. Bye.